Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down another Sunday booster cracking. And today, I got no face cam, guys. I'm sorry. I ended up having a very coronified Christmas, so me and my wife are still recovering and getting over that fun stuff. So we are all quarantined and locked down, literally locked down this, uh, this holiday season, being inside and just getting DoorDash and all the things delivered to us. So it's been fun. Uh, that means I was in a few days of some rough shape, which uh, left my voice a little bit in shambles, as you can hear a little bit hopefully not too much it's gotten a little bit better but i'm still out of it i'm still a little bit you know i'm getting out of the i mean i'm getting out of the trenches a little bit let's just put it that way uh, i'm doing fine though nothing too crazy nothing too serious but i was thrown off for like a week and i didn't get a chance to record how i would have liked to have typically recorded uh this sunday's video especially it being the first video of the year i definitely wanted to do something a little bit more uh but i am just still yeah, just I look like a mess right now and I sound half like a mess and I'm just going to get through doing this quick little video for you guys. So leave a like uh, and we'll be back on schedule with some face cam and everything in next week's video. But today I'm just going to be doing a quick, simple video of Echoes of the New World, one of my favorite sets. Awesome, awesome stuff to find in here, including, as you can see right here, some of these alternate art cards. It's the Bandcamp girls and we have gotten three of them out of five. We still need... Marabella and Charlotte. We've gotten Alice, we've gotten Prisia, and we've gotten Kaiguya. And I, I've been looking, I think we've gotten double Kaigu, Kaigu, ugh, Kaiguas. I'm, I'm trying to say it better now, guys. Sorry. And we still need two more to complete the set of five. So that's what I'll be looking for here today. And we've already done it quite a few times, at least four boxes of this. So no crazy prices. I'm going to keep things simple for me and my editing and just my time and my energy level. Uh, so I'm just going to bust through these things. We're going to look at some awesome cards because this set is dope and hopefully find one of these alternate art band camp girls. Let's do it. Since it's the new year and we're going into 2022, I guess this could just be like a throwback to you know, how I used to do videos back in the day with no face cam, just the straight down shot or side shot or however you want to call it. And just me digging into packs and talking to the camera. This is, uh, yeah, this is just going to be the throwback episode, I suppose. All right, in the box with these awesome packs, let's scoot them to the side and start getting into them. Now we should be, oh my gosh, if I can open this, holy cow, that pack was tight. Jeez, oh pizza. We should be guaranteed at least one alternate art, so we should expect to find at least one of these. And I don't even know really how I'm going to do this. Foils are at the front, I guess, front end. Ah, that's right, we get common foils. It's been a minute since I've done this set, but we passed over our rare, didn't we? Of course our rare was zero. We can't skip over zero. See, you can tell my brain is probably not 100% functioning yet. Uh, even though I'm almost out of the woods with this thing. So, yeah, you gotta forgive my lack of brain power here, which is why I wanted to keep it nice and simple just to get through these things. There's our rare. We got Grim, and then we got Dawn of the Earth Super Rare with a Fire Magic Stone foil. Ooh, but these packs, man, they are glued to high heaven. Holy cow, man. That is crazy. We are just gonna start doing the skips straight to the rare. Look at that. Stranger's Miracle, Stranger Miracle. A strange miracle. What? What is it? Strange miracle. Wow. Severing wins. Great card to get. Love it. Super rare. And behind it, a, li a light. Wow. See? Look, I can't. Light magic stone. Guys, oh my gosh. I swear. It's just the sickness. This totally isn't how I normally am on any given video, just not being able to speak and mispronouncing stuff. It's all just because I'm not feeling well, guys. Come on. All right. We're skipping a little bit to the end. There's Abdul Halarez Sinister Vizier. We got a Wind Magic Stone Full Art, very nice. And then we've got Detachment Uncommon Foil. Oh, I can already tell. I'm regretting bringing up a water for while I'm recording. This is gonna be fun. All right, let's get through it there. Bang, Lars is our rare. And then we got a Wind Magic Stone again. And yo, very nice. Alice, Girl of the Blue Pant Planet Foil. Very, very sick, love this card. And uh, yeah, this is the normal version. This is the alternate art version. So you can see the nice difference there. How's that for lighting? I had to adjust the light. I felt like there was too much shine going on in these cards. That's a little bit better, yeah? Oh man, it's just not my usual setup and I'm just flying on the recording. Truth of Time Rare, Water Magic Stone. And then we got Gil Lapis, Usurper of Maddening Power. Is it Usurper? Yeah, that is sick. That's a nice one actually, very good. Two back-to-back -back super rare foils, nice. 
Guys, I hope you enjoyed the last few videos, our GoGo's Crazy Bone video, and of course, the decisive battle of Valhalla, the rare set finally opened to close us out for the year. It was a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it too. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. We got Arla, Demonic Flying Ace. I had a blast opening that set though. It was great. And I have a lot of exciting ideas for this year's unboxings and fun things to do. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned for that. There's our rare Red Riding Hood, Rainbow to the Heavens, Water Magic Stone, and then we got Malgus, King of Black Flame, Classic Malgus. Ooh, yeah. All right, there we go. We got release. Oh, goodness. All right, there we go. And we've got the final battle. Our rare is Charlotte again. And we got Crimson Sanction. I remember I got so many of these that one box. It was crazy. With a foil darkness magic stone. Sweet. We have not pulled any from the lucky left side. And if history has told us anything, more than the new sets, the old sets really do have a lucky left side. I know I use it in the new sets as well, but let's be honest, ugh, these old sets, it's magic on the lucky left. So we got Little Smetals, Kitsune King as a rare, Dark Alice, Manifestation of Rage, super rare, very nice, and a light magic stone foil again, but hey, not bad. Those are not bad ones to, oh wow, not bad ones to get. Jeez, smack in the cam. Nothing's changed, nothing's changed, you know. What are we doing? We're, we're skipping the rare, that's for sure. We've got uh, Ultimate Swordsmaster Faria, and then you already saw it. We got Narloth Tep, the Realized Truth, Super Rare, very nice, and another Foil Darkness Magic Stone. Dang, we've gotten a lot of these so far. That's actually crazy. Like, a lot of the Foil, uh, foil Lands or Foil Energies, whatever you want to call it, I guess. All right, we got to skip a little bit here. Oh, man, I am losing my voice. I'm glad I'm just keeping it simple, guys. Mistopheles, Shining Demon. We got Fire Magic Stone, and then we got Crimson Sanction, Super Rare Foil. Like I said, I'm keeping it chill. If I had to do this and be on camera at the same time, I'd be like over exuberant and stretching my voice to a million pieces. So yeah, I'm not regretting my decision. Charlotte, although I do feel bad. Time Altering Magic Stone. And yo, yes, dude. Full Art Sylvia, Blade of the Supreme king sick man love this card it is so nice ah oh, such a nice surprise to get this in a full art too decent price on this one i believe some of those do have a couple bucks value on them still if you can get the nice full art so that is not a bad hit whatsoever there's faria again and a darkness magic stone and a prissia ready for the final battle rare bang there's a comparison right here boom 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 you know it'd be nice if we could find like Oh, excuse me, another uber rare or something from this set. Best uber rare I got was from this set. It was so awesome. We got Grim, we got Water Magic Stone, and we got, hey, a Foil Faria. Very nice. Bang it on. Let's do this. Come on. All right, we got the Cheshire Cats Assistant. Assistance. There we go. Commons, Uncommons, Blue Planet. You know it. We got Sung Wung uh, Enforcer. Charlotte is our rare. Then we got a token. Then we get... A very, very nice full art foil, Gil Lapis, Maddening Power. That is awesome. Really nice one to get, man. Right alongside our freaking Sylvia Blade. That is that is awesome. Good, two really good full arts. Nice box so far. Very nice box so far. Now we just need to find that nice alternate art. It's hiding in here somewhere. Will it be the left side or not? I don't know. But there's Sylvia, Blade of the Supreme King. And then we got another token with Crimson Sanction again. Here we go. Is this another Crimson Sanction box? This is going to be crazy. When I started filming, I went to grab one of my Echoes of the New World boxes. And uh, I knew I had a few. Uh, but I did not realize how many. I had like six boxes over there. So I've got quite a few that we can go through still, guys. It's pretty crazy. So don't get me wrong. If we don't find anything good here, we got plenty of chances. Star Fragment and whatever his name is. No Uchiri, the Resurrected Calamity. Nice full art rare for him, though. He's a crazy looking card. He's very like Cthulhu-esque, even though he's like a Hydra Dragon. Next up, let's do it. That one at least opened up easier. I forget, can you find God Packs in here? I'm not actually sure. Strange Miracle, Fire Magic Stone, and Lars, Swordsman of the Dusk, Rare Foil. I'm trying to think back if I ever pulled a God Pack in Echoes. I feel like I might have, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Let's see, we got Rezard, 
we got Darkness Magic Stone, and then we got Viola Vengeful Ebon Dragon Foil Rare. Boom, bang! All right, here we go. Here we go. Common, Charlotte's Water, whatever. Uncommon, Interdimensional, we got Kaiguya as our rare. And then we got Alice as our super rare. Wow, banger pack into a Star Fragment full art. Beautiful card, not really worth much, but okay, not too bad. I forgot how nice this card looked, actually. Very cool. Next up, oh boy, that glue. How long has this box been sitting? Holy crap. All right, we are going straight to the rare. Shining Demon Mistopheles. We've got Severing Winds, and we've got Time Altering Magic Stone. All right, let's keep going. This is the bottom pack from the very, very right side. So let's see if it's anything good. We got Faria, we got a token, and yo, J Ruler, Lapis Story, Subjugation, Fairy Tale, J Ruler. Very, very nice. Book of Dark into the Subjugation. Very sweet. Would love to get the Uber of this one too, because it's got some really nice, cool characters on it. But decent hit, decent hit. Not too expensive of a card, surprisingly enough. I think our Sylvia and Gil Lapis Full Arts go for more than this one. I'll have to go back and see, but I also feel like when I open up Echoes of the New World, I always find my J Rulers at the very, very bottom of the box. N not sure what stacks, but like, I feel like they always wind up at the very, very bottom for some reason. Super rare Dark Alice. And there it is. <coughs> oh boy. Okay, we got we got Alice Girl of the Blue Planet again. Oh man, it's such a nice card, so I can't really be mad at all. It's such a cool card. I love getting these things. I love opening this set. And this is one of the main draws for me is these awesome looking cards. They're so, so popping. They're so nice. Just chef's kiss, man. So cool. I still need to get a new one, and I don't know if we can get anything else from this box. This was from the last pack in the middle. Now, I actually have one more from the middle pack, uh, the middle row, I should say, uh, but I swip swapped them, and this is actually the last pack in the box. So it was J Ruler on the far right side, alternate art in the middle bottom. So I guess we're gonna have to wait and see what's on that bottom left. But let's get rid of our last little center pack here. This was our second to the last one from the center. So let's see if it gives us anything good in that slot. I don't really know if it will or not. We got Cheshire Cat, we got Water Magic Stone, and we've got Flute, the Time Altering Priestess. Bang, bang. All right, J Ruler. Now this is the one I got an Uber Rare in. Such an awesome card. There is the front side here, and then the Judgment, and bang, we got Flute, Time Altering Priestess. Beautiful card, looks awesome. And yeah, okay, so banger two hits on the end in the middle, and then a very nice hit on the far right side end. So very interesting. Now I'm just curious on what the lucky left side is gonna do for us here. Let's get into it. Lucky left side, give us the goods. Let's just skip on through. There's the rare, Lil, Pellis, whatever. And then we've got nothing good for our uncommon foil. Next up on the left, that one opened easy, which is good. And we're just gonna skip, skip, skip. Whatever. Oh, we're skipping the rare. We got Prissia again, Darkness Magic Stone, and then Neo Barrier of Shadows. Dope card. And to the very heavily glued pack here, we're kind of flashing the end card, but we got Yggdor, Beast of Disaster, a Light Magic Stone, and then we got Blazing Floating Castle Rebarth. Oh, once again, am I going to regret hyping the lucky left side? Is it... You know, did we already get our good pulls? We got Sylvia here, that's not bad. Uh, Wind Magic Stone, and then the Makaje Sisters, okay. <laughs> you see that? Oh man, I am too weak to be pulling these packs apart, that's crazy. All right, Melfi Child of Refarth is our rare. And then we got Light Magic Stone with, yo, Shezerod, Speaker of the Yet Unknown Truths. Dude, do I have you? I don't, I think I might have her in the regular. Uh, I don't know if I have her in the foil and I definitely don't have her in the full art, I believe. That's crazy, nice one. Holding out hope for that excellent Uber Rare. Let's see if we can do it, come on. All right, straight to the rare Lilis Pebble Man himself, Star Fragment, and Kaiguya, Love of the Moon, Full Heart. That is sick, man. We got a really good box of nice character full arts, which is what I love. So I know this one isn't worth anything, 
Uh, the uh, alternate art is definitely worth more. There's your comparison images for what they both look like, uh, but it's still a dope card. All right, we only got a few more packs left here on the lucky left. So let's get into it. Oh, we're almost skipping the river. We got Faria, and then we got Magic Stone, Time Altering, and then we got Melfi, Child of Refarth, Full Art. This is a cool card, but man, it's so bonkers in the foiling. Like it, it really went nuts here, and it's pretty hard on the eyes, honestly, but a dope card. Oh, buddy. All right, let's get into it. See what else is in here. All right, oh, don't skip the rare. We got the little Hydro Dragon guy, our Fire Magic Stone, and then Hydro Dragon guy foil, all right. Three more packs. This is the last one in the box, so we're gonna start with this one and work our way towards the left as we do. We're gonna see what that last pack has to offer. Let's see it. We got a rare zero again. Very nice. Water. And then we got Cheshire Cat, Phantasmal Fighter, Foil. Middle one here. Let's do it. All right. That one opened semi-easily. We are going to just go through. Bang. Our rare is Charlotte again. Uh, we've gotten a lot of her in this box. And then we've got the Makage, Sujuro, Patriarch of the Vampires Foil. Okay, nothing too crazy. And our last pack. Let's see how we can finish this box off. We've got really good hits on the final holes of the final packs of each side. So can we do good in this one? I can tell you what, we're already bending cards here by forcing our way into the packs with all our might. So let's just go through. Arla, we got Gale Force. All right, Lilith's Petal, we've gotten a lot of this one as well. But we've got a Fire Magic Stone and Red Riding Hood, Rainbow to the Heaven Foil. Not a full art. Uh, but still decent foil. Very nice. All right, some pulls of the day. Let's go through it. We got a lot of nice foil character cards, just normal versions. We got Alice. We got Prissia. We got Shezerod. We got Red Riding Hood. But obviously, we want the full arts. And we did get some nice, nice full arts. Kaiguya, Love of the Moon. Very cool. Gil Lapis, of course. And a nice blaze of glory here. Maddening Power. And then, of course, Sylvia, Blade of the Supreme King. Dope card. Love this one. And then we've got our J Rulers, Lapis Story, Subjugation Fairy Tale. Nothing too crazy, but it is a J Ruler. You gotta throw it in there, you know? And then we got Flute Time Altering Priestess, but you know we all came here for the alternate art. And we got Alice, Girl of the Blue Planet. Very, very nice. Now, not a new one again, but guys, I told you before, I'll say it again. I got like five, six more of Echoes of the New World. It's crazy. So please make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more Force of Will content. We're also doing Crazy Bones, Pokemon, We Cross, you name it. And I promise I'll be back with the face cam next week. And hopefully my voice will be a little bit stronger as well. So don't worry. This is only temporary. And I hope you guys had a great new year and a great start to this new year. And I wish you guys all the best. Thank you for watching. We will see you in the next one. Thank you.